That's strange. Virginia never said anything about marrying this Joker. Huh. You met with the ringmaster on the night of the murder. Yes, I was with him at around 10 p.m. Once I was done with practice. I went to his room right after we finished. They found the ringmaster's body in the plaza in front of the lodging house. Yeah, I heard about that. He needed to step out for a bit, so I waited in his room for him to return. Huh? Hmm. Sorry, Max. I have something I have to I must attend to right now. Do you mind waiting for me? Right here. It's pretty cold outside. Where's your coat? It's alright. I'll be right back. It should only take about ten minutes. And then? I waited for him. But he never came back. Did he go out to the plaza where the body was discovered? Possibly. The snow had tr uh, tapered off a bit, but it was still very cold outside. But I have no idea what he went off to do. Okay, so... Definitely have some evidence. Oh man, this is, uh... But before that, I do want to just give what it, see what he says about some of the profiles. Oh god. Ah, oh, my sweetie pie! She must be really lonely with me all cooped up in here. Actually, she was laughing and rolling around with her tiger. She's my special someone. And I'm her special someone. Uh-huh. Very complex. Just between you and I, he wasn't a bad guy at all. I can say that for sure. That's the first time I've ever heard you say something nice about someone, Max. You must have been a really nice guy. Really, really nice. Oh, God, this. Uh, what about this person? Unfortunately, I don't take on apprentices. I mean, she's got the face on this one. It's not what I call fabulous. That's awfully harsh. I can't believe a guy with that ugly mug is after my sweetie pie princess. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, yep, okay. Especially after she had eluded my charms for such a long time. There isn't much you can do about that, right? Huh. You haven't a- you haven't even- ha You haven't even been truly in love, have you? Uh... When you're truly in love with someone, you'd be jealous of their mirror because it traps their image inside. Aw, uh, don't you think that's sweet of him, Nick? I'm gonna get back with my, with my sweetie pie. Now I'm gonna turn that dumb puppet into a toy gl glider. Uh, I guess you two haven't worked out your differences yet. Uh, that's... yeah, that's all I wanted to ask about. Okay. Let's go through the stuff. Uh, actually, I don't... Uh, I'll go through it one more time, just to... When you make absolutely fabulous magic, it costs enormous sums of, sums of money. Sums that will boggle your mind. Right, how many do we have? Three. Okay. That's why you went to his room that night? I went to ask him for a fabulous raise. I wonder how people can lie with such a straight face. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where is it? Over here? Let us begin. Uh Meeting with Russell. This was the first lie. Last night you met with the ringmaster, correct? To go negotiate your salary and such. Exactly, we reached an agreement about the salary from my six month old contract. That's the truth? The whole truth? What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary. I hate lies and I hate liars even more. What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? And that was... Oh, over here it is. Listen to this? I gotta read this real quick. Documents related to Max Stiller. Yeah. He got an enormous raise one week ago. Take that! The, the, that's... It was on the table in the ringmaster's room. You weren't lying when you said you received quite a raise. Whoop. Is 
there a problem with being well compensated? Not with the compensation, just with the date. This is dated a week ago. You finished your contract negotiations a week ago. F fabulous All right, I'll tell you the truth. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you? Why'd he do that? Sorry, sweetie. That's private. The ringmaster called him. I wonder if there's some sort of problem. Uh, Max, perhaps you could share with me what you two spoke about? Well, not if I don't have to. Isn't this why the ringmaster called you into his room that night? Uh, probably this. The bottle, you know. The fact that he smashed somebody over the- uh, smashed that one guy over the head with the bottle. Isn't that why you were called to the ringmaster's room that night? W where did you get that? The cafeteria? But you already knew that, didn't you? Uh, of course. It fell and broke on the floor. I'm still hiding something else. Max? What is it, my sweetie? It didn't fall and break on the floor. You used this bottle to... Where was... Uh... I don't have anything that says, uh... Yeah, I don't have anything that says he broke it over the head, so I guess... Maybe present the profile of this guy? He broke it over this guy's face. Ben. You nailed him over the head with this bottle, di didn't you? And that's why you got called to the ringmaster's room that night. Fabulous! You might as well be a magician! Alright, let's find out. The truth is, yesterday morning during breakfast, we had a run-in. You mean you had a fight with Ben the Ventriloquist? You could put it that way. Why did you fight with him? Ben seems like such a quiet man. He fought about my sweetie pie. You mean Regina? That ill-bred creep told me my sweetie pie princess that he was in love with her. Would you put up with that? Ill-bred? Are you talking about the same Ben? Told her he was in love with her. Are you sure this is the <laughs> this is Ben we're talking about? All I can say is that, uh, all I can say is that he made me mad and I had to tap him on his hard head. That's when the ringmaster called me and I realized that it was my chance. Your chance? That's when I went to his room and laid it all out on the table. I asked him to let me marry Sweetie Pie. What? The ringmaster told me that it sounds good to me. That's why my Sweetie Pie is my Sweetie Pie. And no one else's. Huh, I see. Since Ben was causing me so much trouble, I realized I had to shut him up. Shut him up? Uh, what do you mean by shut him up? You don't know. Do you, my sweeties? Unless Ben and Trilo are together. Trilo can't say a word. Oh, so he stole his... He stole Trilo. The puppet. The ventriloquist puppet. His real name is Trilo Quist. Oh, God. But a puppet doesn't talk. I know. That's why I hit it. Before the police came and took me away, of course. If that puppet started flapping off the balsa, I'd be screwed. You hit him? You mean the ventriloquist puppet? You're so smart, sweetie. Uh, where did you hide him? What? Sweetie. You aren't thinking of trying to add him to my defense, are you? Well, Ben does seem awfully lonely without his puppet. Fabulous. I should have taught him a lesson. Okay, I hit Trilo in the ringmaster's room. You don't mind going there and getting Trilo for me, do you, sweets? No problem. None at all. Thank you, Max. You know, I can't stand to see my sweeties in a jam. Then don't go hiding puppets. Okay, I guess I gotta head back there then. Uh, let's head over to... It was in the ringmaster's room, I think. Huh, Ben's not here anymore. Yeah, I wanted to go ask him something. I wanted to ask him something. It's cold outside. He's probably in the tent. Well, who cares about that? Let's go get that puppet. 
and then hold it ransom. What do you think, Nick? I wonder if we've been making any progress. Don't be so negative. Of course we're making progress. But everyone loved the Ringmaster, and there's no sign of footprints on the scene. Still a lot of mysteries left to be solved. Of course. And now Regina isn't here. I'm not seeing how that's related. It's in here, right? Looks the same as always. It's a bit, great big mess. Considering how messy it is, I bet they wouldn't notice if another poster went missing. Will you, will you just stop it, you poster pilfer? I'm just kidding. You already got one of these posters. You mean stole one of those posters. Yeah, uh, let's focus on what Max told us. He said he hit Trilo somewhere in this room. Trilo, oh, the ventriloquist puppet. Uh, okay, where is it? Where would it be? Okay, so... Uh, maybe it's in here? Nick, look at all the cute trophies. Indeed, just look at all the awards the circus has won. Like, all county quiz champions... Uh, I've already seen this, okay. Huh? There's something shoved under the bookshelf. Oh, there's something under... The yeah, this is. It's true. That's Trilo. That's Ben's puppet. I think you're right. We'll give it back to him later. Okay, we got the puppet. Why do I have to carry this thing? Let's get out of here. Uh, so they're not in the normal, like, the areas they were before. What would they be? Maybe in the cafeteria? Maybe it's lunchtime? December 28th, Big Top Cafeteria. Oh, hey, Ben. Oh, he's here. Um, h hello. Hello to you, too. It's awfully cold today, don't you agree? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do indeed. Don't you think it's cold, Nick? I don't see how talking about the weather is helping our case. Ugh. There's anything to talk about first? I know you got hit over the head. Tell us about what you know about the murder. I, uh, I, uh... Do you know anything at all? You don't know a thing? Well... Well, I, I, I don't know. Okay, yeah, so I gotta give him a spell bit. You've been in the circus for a long time, haven't you, Ben? Yeah, uh, about four years. I gotta admit, I'm kinda interested in this place as well. I'm always so funny, and Max is so amazing. Not to mention Regine being the cutest little thing I've ever seen. Uh, Regina? I, uh, my... I don't really, really like her too, too much. Huh? Are you sure about that? Huh, that's odd. Next said something about a confession of love. Okay, let's just give you your puppet. Ah, Ben, this is yours, isn't it? Y yes, th that's mine. Here you go. Alright, Maya, let's get going. It's that time, isn't it? See you around, Ben. Uh, okay. Wait, what? I thought we were gonna talk to him. So, Nick, where are we going next? Let's see. Maybe we should go talk to... Hey, wait! Who said that? What are you looking at? I'm right here, you blind wench. Oh, god. <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, of course. What's your problem anyways? How do you know how to properly greet someone? Ben? Is that you, Ben? No, 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 no. I would never. Yeah, it was me. Yeah, me. Down here. You're Trilo? That's Mr. Quist to you, sir. Learn some manners before you blurt out my name. Now try to speak to me again, but this time with some proper respect. Not again. Mr. Quist, is that better? No, look at me when I'm talking to you, you 8-bit excuse for an attorney. Trilo, we talked about insulting people. You promised. But he was mocking me. Being mean to bullies was not included in the deal. I'm sorry, Trilo. Nick, what just happened? Trilo's still a puppet, right? Or the Trilo was puppet. Hey, who do you think you are calling me a puppet? Oh, God. No. <laughs> uh, talk to Trilo, I guess. Well, let's talk to him. Uh... I gotta deal with the puppet. Angry puppet. 
Tell us what you know about the murder. You talking to me? I said you talking to me? Don't look at him when you're talking to me. Shrilquist, behave, you behave, young man. Shut up, Woody. What are you talking about? You mean the one where they off the old man? Uh, I guess so. No need to make such a fuss about things. Oh, mutt, paid us all peanuts. Trill, you can't say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. Don't you have nerve pills or something to take right now? Well, that's what I thought. These two are really uh, an odd couple, aren't they, Nick? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Grips got clobbered over the head. Let me lay it out for you. The pay sucks, the clown sucks, and my partner has his hand up my pants. <laughs> uh, your partner, you mean Ben? Yeah. The creepy old guy who never finds it in himself to leave me alone. Tell him to back off from me, will ya? It's just another one of those dorks around here. Oh, my. But I'll be fair. In this cesspool of human garbage masquerading as circus performers, I found my Madonna. Your... Madonna- Oh god, the puppets- Oh god. Regina, my lovely Regina. She's done it, right Ben? Well, I'm not sure if I would go that far. You have to excuse him. He does not understand of what he speaks. I, on the other hand, am an appreciator of beauty. Hence why I shall marry her. Marry? Oh god. The ringmaster knocked- Got knocked upside the cheap- his cheap head by that flying fraud. You mean Max Galactica? How do you say that? Trilo, straighten up. Don't accuse people like that. Straighten up. I'm made of wood. Besides, you were there. You know what happened. You were there. Haha. <laughs> if you're that interested, then I'll tell you. I'll let you in on the facts. Well, first, let's see what's going on with this marriage thing. You, you're going to marry Regina? That's right. She doesn't quite realize the joy that awaits her, does she? But she did seem a bit worried about things. Well, she... I don't care. It's my choice, not hers. We're getting hitched. Uh, I know you think that, but... But what? I gave her a special gift. I gave her a wonderful gift, a song. You gave her a song? Well, I am a renowned tenor. You'll be happy to know that I've decided to grace you with one of my songs. Me, be, me, be, me, me, me. I want you to touch me. I want you to kiss me. I want you to... Eh, the rest is private. Well, uh, the melody is pretty good. But those lyrics, I think they need a little work. Who asked you? I'm the artist here. I, uh, uh, thanks. Now that the trio's here. Now that the trio's here. Does that mean you can talk normally now? Hey, buttface. Uh, you must be looking forward to tomorrow. Aren't you, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? Uh, you know, it's time to get that rid of that pesky magician once and for all. J Trilo? Enough jib jabba. Let's get the cord already. Uh, hey, wait a second. Nick, what's going on? He's what is for tomorrow's trial. Uh, uh. I don't know if I'm looking forward to the trial. Oh. This is, uh... Oh.